Hey, hey, Fetch. It's still the 15th of March. And <laughs> I don't need any more um, verification personally, but apparently we do. Somebody does because what was just given to me just blows my mind. And it goes much deeper than what I'm going to show you, but I want to get this little part out um, before my little notepad gets scattered everywhere and it's about the Dead Sea Scrolls there's this once in a lifetime um, exhibit that's going to be showing in Denver exhibit in Denver illuminates the mysterious origins of major world religions final US stop of the exhibit on March 16th with a host of political implications including controversy over who owns the 2,000 year old documents and this is fascinating I'm gonna link everything I found but I just want to show you this it opens tomorrow the 16th right and I see that it's the last stop the final US stop so I will I wanted to know well where was the first stop so I found out and it was in of course of all places New York City Times Square Discovery is where they showed it and they you know promoted it as the scrolls as a start not an end and it opened October 28th 2011 and again I will link everything there's some just wild stuff in here you guys I mean it's just crazy so you know the first thing that comes into my mind is you know go and check to see between this date of October 28th 2011 and March 16th 2018 that is the extent of their seven year tour with seven stops okay that's that's important in my spirit that's important so I do it and this is what we get 2300 and 31 days which is six years four months and 16 days which is also exactly 333 weeks the first thing that pops into my mind Ezekiel 33 3 when he seeth the sword cometh upon the land he blow the trumpet and warn the people I'm warning you I'm warning the people that's the best I can tell you this is meaningful in many many ways and it runs very deep but this part of it is what I'm charged with giving you and this I I personally cannot deny what I see here and my spirit agrees look what you can do with this number and what it represents and how many different I'm just telling you it's upon us that the time to make a decision on your eternal soul is upon us I pray that you make the right decision and that would be Jesus Christ okay there's much more on this I'm sure I'll be sharing more with it more on it with you because this is absolutely positively one of the most unbelievable things I've ever stumbled upon they claim there is actual stones from the temple wall itself not the Western Wall but the temple wall itself it's an amazing exhibit once in a lifetime it is put on as a world-renowned once-in-a-lifetime thing that's what it's being promoted as highly anticipated and that just blew my mind blew my mind and not only that 2331 in the Hebrew is all over Job and what is it show declare show unbelievable so I absolutely had to share that with you there's just no way around that you know what I mean so I'll link every single thing that I have come across thus far and uh, peace and grace to all of you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 